Hi and welcome to my tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create a PDF file uh, in Visual Basic. First I'll be showing you functionality of this program and then I'll go ahead and uh, take a look at the code. So let's put in some sample text, file name, my title, my subject, create PDF, Open it up. And here you can see our example text. Now let's go ahead and create two pages. Change the font on this. This uses a context menu. Just right click. Create PDF. Open it up. You see our example text. And we have two pages. And I'll show you why how the layout in the second page is different than the first page. Just a second. Go ahead and create a PDF using JPEG. And you can see our photo, and now let's go ahead and draw a circle. And there's our circle. Alright, so now let's go ahead and take a look at the code. I'm not going to go over uh, each method and functions because it's rather long and very difficult to understand. But, just to get a gist of what's going on here, let's take a look at our button event handler. Um, so we're going to create a new object using our PDF Writer class, which I'll give you the link to download that class uh, at the bottom of this video. We're going to use with a PDF class so we can uh, make repeated references to the single object here. Uh, so basically it's just setting our title here, um, our subject, creator, author, producer, how many pages, uh, page size, and here's the formatting of the text. And this is why um, it was different on that second page, that text was different on the second page, because you can see I set the, uh, right here, the horizontal offset different, and then you have the vertical offset right here. Moving on right here, we have our text to show, and I set that to that text box. And here's our class with our fonts, our font size, our font color, and then uh, our line, and then our margin. And then to save the file, um, we save it to our desktop, and then we call it write PDF, which if you look in here, just passes our string file path as a parameter, and runs through all these operations. Like I said, this is, as you can see, this is a very large class and difficult to understand, but I have included uh, a PDF file for you to review and kind of understand what's going on here more in depth. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to message me. Thanks.